Hey guys, uh, welcome back to a new tutorial and well in this video we are going to see how to integrate the IMU MPU 6050 sensor uh, with a Jetson Nano. So we use a I2C uh, I2C C protocol to communicate with Jetson and IMU MPU 6050. So and also I already uh, wrote the blog on this uh, medium blog how to integrate these uh, IMU sensor with a Jetson Nano. So these steps you can follow and you can integrate your IMU sensor within Jetson for the robot localization process. So from this IMU we can take the row yaw pitch and x y moment right. So the accuracy uh, we need to find in that and uh, after integrating with uh, Jetson using a I2C protocol you can see that so I am using a uh, MPU 6050 IMU sensor and using a geo pins I connected these things uh, with the Jetson so yes SCL and STA uh, pins I connected 7 and 6 and then 5 volt and ground I 3.3 volt and uh, ground I connected with the Jetson Nano so then you can see that after connecting that you can see the blinking LED is available in red color right so then after so now we uh, connected the Jetson and IMU MPU 5060 uh, with our uh, Jetson Nano right so then now the process is uh, going on and we need to find out that is I square is working correctly or not I square C right for that uh, we need to open a terminal so after opening terminal uh, type this command it's going to find out the I square C So this is a command sudo i square c detector slash r slash y right enter and the password right so the output is look like this and in 60 you will get a 68 so I'm going to try so the IMU is working so if I if I disconnect the IMU MPU 50 6050 so the output is not showing this 68 right so now now the I square C is working on our Jetson and IMU transformation by using a master slave I use square uh, thing so right so we successfully connected this Jetson uh, with the IMU sensor so what's the next uh, we need to install the ROS driver to integrate uh, with the system so I will give the uh, medium block in in my description so for from that you will get a get a plane and also I try to make a apt command for this uh, especially for the mpu 60 so I will make that and I will post it on my uh, medium blog by today or tomorrow after this video posting so then after uh, you can uh, easily integrate this thing with your uh, Jetson and first I already cloned this uh, mpu 6050 uh, driver in my uh, Jetson Nano. So this is a driver. So in this, uh, you can find out the parameters, right? So we go inside the parameter. We can find out that. So get edit. Edit. So in this parameter, you can find out that uh, linear angular motions uh, parameters is available. So x y coordinates. Okay. So the gyro range and the acceleration range and calibration is true. So then uh, we'll use the offsets, so the row yaw pitch movements, how it's going to make a measurement. Okay, so these these parameters is available on the param file. So then uh, cloning this uh, things, I I will give the description uh, how. I cloned these things from the GitHub, and how I'm I, and also I'm going to give the apt command for this. So after installing driver, we need to make a call in middle, right? So make IMU call con build, right? So after making call con build, so now uh, we need to source it. So uh, after building a workspace, uh, we need to uh, source it. Source uh, install setup dot bash. Okay. So we wait 
for some time it will take uh, uh, one or two minutes so then after uh, uh, we need to source it and then we'll launch and using RQT visualization toolkit I uh, will see how the MPU sensor is transferring the OER pitch movement at XY coordinates and then uh, we'll use a Galman filter to filter the error signal from the sensor to do the localization in accurate and precision way. So in uh, coming videos uh, we'll see how to integrate this IMU and LiDAR and VL encoders with ESP32 to do the autonomous mobile robot thing for in ROS to humble version. So this is a series of video, we'll, before that I posted the video about how to install the ROS humble on Jetson Nano using a cloned version of Jetpack and uh, in that I explain how to uh, write the uh, OS on Jetson and then how to install the ROS Humble from the Isocross documentation and then I explain how to integrate the LiDAR sensor with the Jetson RP LiDAR and then how to integrate the ESP32 with a micro ROS in the Jetson Nano. So this is a video we seen previously now we have the base control and LiDAR integration and now we use the sensor interfacing for localization process so these many things we did in our previous videos and the upcoming videos we will see how to do the map using SLAM and Cartographer and then how to integrate this autonomous navigation system with the localization process of IMU and LiDAR and we learn about sensor fusioning techniques so we will see in our upcoming videos okay. Building, the driver is going building on. It will take around two or three minutes. Okay, and the person is finished. So then uh, now we'll source, install, set up, and finish. Then sourcing after sourcing, I uh, will launch the AMU driver. Launch cross to launch. to launch and type mpu6050 driver dot launch okay so we wait for some time after launching this uh, we need to shake or take over the IMU sensor from the ground okay so I will jet set from here so we'll uh, So here uh, Jetson with the IMU sensor. So after uh, launching, this is launch right. So now here we go and type ROS2 topic list. So now uh, IMU is a node, it's launched at the top. So now I'm going to type ROS2 topic echo slash IMU. Okay. So after launching this ROS2 topic echo slash IMU, so you can see that uh, it will be a plus show some uh, random values so the linear ac acceleration and linear acceleration covariance and also you can see the angular velocity also here so well now you can see that here the x y z coordinates is a 1 minus 0 1 1.7 or 1.0 so like that the x y z is you now 1 minus 0 1.7 so well I am going to take the IMU sensor from the surface from the table so then 
then after taking from that you can see that the values will be changed so around 4 5 the x is going to 5 x is going to 5 and y is going to 10 and z is going to 15 or 14 so like this is on uh, values are changing so well i am keeping in a current position or a static position so you may find out that the x is 0 y is 40 and z is 14 so well i am shaking so values will be changed so we will get the imu reading now right so for more understanding uh, we will open a new terminal and uh, we will type rqd and we will see how the sensors is on uh, transferring the data so after launching rqd uh, we need to go to the inspection and in that uh, you can find out that the node list or topic list so in that the ime node it's publishing to the echo the raw topic echo uh, with an x y z coordinates of uh, linear and velocity acceleration Go to the plugins and here introspection node graph. So after enabling this, you can find out that MQ6015 driver is a node which is publishing the IMU data from the Jetson app. So this is an IMU node. So node is launching in a Jetson. So the node is a node, and by topic of IMU we use the ROS topic eco slash IMU, right? So this is a slash IMU and the node uh, which is sharing the information of which one mpu 6050 IMU sensor right so then after we need to use the ekf to tune the sensors reading to make an accurate sensors input for the robot so next video we'll see how to integrate this uh, lidar sensor uh, i already posted the video how to interface the lidar sensor with the jetson nano and then now the upcoming video will be how to do the mapping using slam and uh, like slam toolbox and cataraffer so thank you we'll see in next video subscribe the channel